Duncan Clark, Alibaba, The House That Jack Ma Built Welcome to the journey of Alibaba, The House That Jack Ma Built, a riveting summary that explores the remarkable growth of China's e-commerce giant. Discover how changing consumer attitudes in China and the innovative leadership of founder Jack Ma have contributed to the company's immense success. Learn about Alibaba's customer-first philosophy, transparent sales strategies, excellent customer service, and what puts it ahead of other online retail giants. Find out how the values and vision of an English teacher from Hangzhou helped shape Alibaba into one of the most valuable businesses in the world. China's Consumerism Revolution As the world's manufacturing giant, China has mostly not been consumer-minded, with household spending making up just a third of its economy, compared to two-thirds in the United States. However, a shift towards consumerism is emerging, exemplified by the country's Singles Day celebration, which has become a significant day for Chinese retailers. In 2009, only 27 shops participated, but by 2015, 40,000 retailers and 30,000 brands joined the festivities. Alibaba, an online commerce company, has played a significant role in propelling this transformation, receiving comparisons to Amazon. As of 2016, Alibaba overtook Amazon to become China's most popular retailer, highlighting the dramatic growth of consumerism in the country. Alibaba's Unique Competitive Edge Alibaba disrupts the Chinese retail market by allowing businesses to use their platform, Taobao, for free, gaining a competitive advantage over other online retailers. Merchants can pay an advertising fee for a prominent placement, similar to Google's AdWords. In addition, Alibaba offers exceptional customer service through mediators, called Shower, and provides a highly interactive shopping experience, including real-time haggling via webcam. Alibaba is a groundbreaking force in China's retail industry, setting itself apart from other online retailers with its distinctive approach. By offering a basic level of free services to the merchants who utilize their platform, Alibaba opens the door for over 9 million businesses to operate their online storefronts through Taobao, a cost-effective solution for small merchants. To increase visibility and drive sales, merchants can opt to pay advertising fees for their products to be spotlighted on the platform. This revenue model emulates Google's AdWords system, wherein merchants pay based on the number of clicks their ads receive and how frequently their product page is visited. Alibaba's unique qualities don't end there. The e-commerce giant also prides itself on delivering outstanding customer service. Alibaba's website is closely monitored by a group called the Shower, or Servants, who act as mediators for any conflicts arising between customers and vendors. This dedicated team ensures that vendors adhere to the platform's code of conduct and maintains a smooth, efficient marketplace. Taobao's success is further fueled by its commitment to providing an engaging, interactive shopping experience. The platform boasts a state-of-the-art chat feature, enabling customers and merchants to haggle over product prices in real-time via webcam. Embracing competition as a driving force, Taobao's merchants are known to go above and beyond, offering free samples or including small gifts in their packages as a gesture of appreciation, a practice unheard of on rival platforms like Amazon. Jack Ma's Alibaba Priorities Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, established a clear hierarchy of importance within the company, customers first, employees second, and shareholders third. He affectionately refers to small customers as shrimps and ensures the platform's basic free services are maintained to provide them exposure. Despite shareholder pressure for short-term profits, Ma remains committed to customers and small businesses. Employees are also a priority as he cultivates motivation and loyalty with a 2.6 million square foot campus offering various amenities and interest-free loans. In return, Jack Ma expects dedication and hard work from his employees to ensure Alibaba's lasting success. Whether you're an online shopper, a small business, or a loyal employee, Alibaba has got you covered. Jack Ma, the visionary behind the Chinese e-commerce giant, 
has created an empire with a clear set of guiding principles, prioritize customers, employees, and shareholders, in that order. Small customers, endearingly called shrimps by Jack Ma, are always at the heart of his decisions. He's tirelessly working to provide shrimps with opportunities they won't find elsewhere, refusing to compromise on Alibaba's basic free services, even when faced with pressures to deliver short-term gains. At the same time, Ma devotes great care and attention to his employees. He believes in cultivating motivation and loyalty among his workforce, which includes a significant number of employees who have no plans to leave the company. In addition to fostering a supportive environment, Alibaba's massive 2.6 million square foot campus offers numerous perks for employees. They can enjoy amenities like exercise rooms, coffee shops, organic food stalls, and even a man made lake, providing ample reasons to feel valued and well cared for. Employees can also access life enhancing benefits such as interest free loans of up to $50,000 for significant purchases like cars or homes. In return for these advantages, Jack Ma expects loyalty, passion, and long hours from his team to maintain Alibaba's growth and evolution. By staying true to these core values and dedicating himself to his customers, employees, and shareholders, Jack Ma has built a thriving enterprise synonymous with success, innovation, and a lasting impact on the world of e-commerce. From Classroom to Cyberspace Jack Ma, initially an English teacher, recognized the necessity of creating a different path for himself to ensure a better future. He capitalized on the emerging internet technology and started Hangzhou Haiba Network Consulting, one of China's early internet-based businesses. Through this venture, he aimed to increase the visibility of Chinese businesses in the United States, facing numerous challenges along the way. However, with persistence, he managed to acquire clients, spark interest among American consumers, and overcome setbacks, setting the stage for the future of Chinese e-commerce. As an English teacher, Jack Ma was confronted by the reality of how easily his future could become stagnant, similar to his colleague who rode home with vegetables stuffed in a basket on an old bicycle. Determined to rewrite his destiny, Jack turned his gaze towards the burgeoning internet technology of the 90s. He took a daring leap into the world of internet-based businesses by founding Hangzhou Haiba Network Consulting in 1995. This company was among the first in China to create home pages and simple websites for other businesses, enabling them to establish a web presence. Eager to boost Chinese businesses' visibility in the United States, Jack and his business partner, He Yibing, purchased the U.S. internet domain Chinapage.com. Nevertheless, being ahead of time proved challenging, as the majority of businesses in China lacked internet access, making it difficult to persuade them to invest in an online presence. Despite these obstacles, Jack's service gained traction among early adopters, including a hotel in Hangzhou. This was a turning point, as American travelers started flocking to Lakeview, the only Chinese hotel they discovered online. However, Jack faced additional hurdles such as unreliable internet connections that often led to presenting clients with printouts of their new websites rather than the real thing. As the cost for web service reached $2,400, some people viewed this as a scam, but Jack's perseverance and hard work laid the foundation for the future of Chinese e-commerce. Birth of Alibaba's Brand While seeking inspiration for his online retail concept, Jack Ma stumbled across a name that captivated him during a trip to San Francisco. Recalling the Arabian Night story, Alibaba and the Forty Thieves, Ma realized the universal appeal of the character and chose it for his venture. Despite the Alibaba.com domain being owned by a Canadian who demanded a high price, Ma took a chance on his honesty, and the deal went smoothly. Launched in February 1999, Alibaba was envisioned as an international competitor targeting small business customers, inspired by the film Forrest Gump, where the protagonist creates wealth through a modest shrimp fishing business. Alibaba's Big Break In 1987, the first email from China took a long time to reach Germany, but within a decade, technology had advanced, revolutionizing the world economy. Investors from the U.S. were eager to invest in Asian tech companies, and Jack Ma saw this as an opportunity to grow Alibaba. 
Enter Shirley Lin, a Goldman Sachs employee who was interested in investing in Chinese internet companies. Despite cultural barriers with Chinese businessmen, Lin had a connection to Alibaba through Jack Ma's business partner, Zhou Tsai. Impressed by the team's dedication despite their cramped workspace, Lin managed to secure $5 million in startup funds for Alibaba, setting the stage for their future success. Decades ago, the first email sent from China took an agonizingly slow time to reach its destination in Germany. Yet within 10 years, rapid technological advancements led to the creation of thriving global economies, captivating U.S. investors eager to invest in Asian tech companies. Jack Ma, the visionary mind behind Alibaba, was fully aware of the potential these investors held to transform his company into a global contender. He was also cognizant that Chinese investment firms demonstrated little enthusiasm in internet-based businesses. Fortunately, the perfect solution came in the form of Shirley Lin, a Goldman Sachs employee who shared an affinity for investing in Chinese internet companies. However, cultural differences posed a challenge as some Chinese businessmen struggled to accept Lin as a legitimate investor. But Jack Ma's ally and Alibaba co-founder Zhou Tsai held a valuable connection, he'd met Lin back in 1989. When Tsai finally reached out to Lin, it turned out she was seeking precisely the kind of investment opportunity Alibaba offered. Soon, Lin was in Hangzhou, encountering the bright, ambitious Alibaba team, even if their headquarters happened to be Zhou's cramped apartment. Lin's enduring impression was how dedicated and hardworking everyone was. Their passion convinced her to support Alibaba, and she persuaded Goldman Sachs along with other investors to fuel the company's growth with a $5 million initial investment. Jack Ma's joy was palpable, but little did he know that a looming crisis awaited Alibaba on the horizon. Rising Through Disruption Jack Ma's resilience and forward-thinking approach set the stage for Alibaba's success after the dot-com bubble burst in 2000. Despite financial challenges and fierce competition, strategic decisions, such as hiring a seasoned COO and limiting the scope to the Chinese market, fueled Alibaba's growth and eventual profitability. As the founder of Alibaba, Jack Ma's unwavering optimism and determination played a vital role in building the company's retail empire. Such perseverance was tested in the aftermath of the notorious dot-com bubble burst in 2000, which sent innumerable internet startups and established businesses collapsing. However, Jack Ma was not phased, instead, he saw it as a chance to re-strategize. Although several Chinese internet companies suffered greatly, Alibaba had an advantage due to its prudent spending choices. The company had only used a small portion of the funds it had raised, making it more stable than its competitors, many of which Ma predicted would be forced to shut down. This left the market wide open for Alibaba to assert its presence. One serious problem persisted, however, the lack of profit. In 2000, Alibaba, with half a million users and significant funds, had not yet broken even. Efforts to generate income through fees for site-building services had fallen short of covering expenses. Additionally, Jack Ma had used substantial funds to hire more employees with the intent to expand the company's reach to the United States and Europe. Despite these challenges, Jack Ma and his partner Zhou Tsai remained undeterred as they sought help in the form of a new chief operating officer, Savio Kwan. Kwan, an experienced specialist, had a vital mission, to transform Alibaba into a profitable and healthy company. He tackled this responsibility head-on by implementing cost-cutting measures and concentrating Alibaba's growth in the fruitful Chinese market. Consequently, Jack Ma's persistent optimism and strategic actions established a solid foundation for Alibaba's journey to profitability and success. Taba, Alibaba's Winning Move in the early 2000s, Alibaba faced a significant challenge as eBay aimed to dominate the Chinese market. But under the leadership of Jack Ma, Alibaba launched its subsidiary, Taobao, a platform focused on the Chinese market, offering a free, fast and culturally relevant shopping experience. The strategic move caused eBay's market share to decline, solidifying Alibaba's position as a retail powerhouse in China. 
In the early 2000s, Alibaba was still striving to carve its niche in the retail market when it found itself faced with a formidable competitor, eBay. In 2003, eBay entered the Chinese market by acquiring a local company that controlled 90% of China's online consumer to consumer business. This move led to the birth of eBay EachNet, a direct rival to Alibaba. Alibaba's founder, Jack Ma, was prepared to fight fire with fire and sprang into action by creating Taobao, a subsidiary site launched in May 2003 that catered specifically to Chinese customers. For four months, Ma managed to conceal Alibaba's ownership of Taobao, allowing the new platform to swiftly acquire a share of the market from eBay each net. Taobao quickly gained popularity, thanks to its ability to tap into the tastes and preferences of the Chinese market. The site presented a lively, bizarre-like atmosphere, in stark contrast to the neat and sterile look of eBay's platform. In 2004, eBay each net took a decisive blow when it moved to a U.S. host, making it subject to China's restrictive firewalls and resulting in slower load times. This inadvertently allowed Taobao to surge ahead, as customers flocked to its free, fast and engaging platform. Indeed, Taobao proved to be one of the best strategic moves in Alibaba's history. It handed Alibaba the reins of China's e-commerce business while also bolstering its financial standing. With over 18 years in operation, Alibaba remains a retail titan, thanks in no small part to the success of Taobao. And as Jack Ma envisions a 102-year lifespan for his brainchild, the future continues to look bright for Alibaba. In this engrossing summary, we have witnessed the incredible growth and impact of Alibaba in China and the online retail market. Through the company's strategic offerings and relentless focus on customer satisfaction, Alibaba has become a major player in the world of e-commerce. At the heart of this success stands Jack Ma, a man with unwavering commitment to his customers, employees, and innovative vision. From humble beginnings, Alibaba. The house that Jack Ma built highlights the transformative power of ingenuity and perseverance, echoing the importance of adapting to societal shifts and seizing opportunities that come our way. Alibaba's inspiring story not only showcases the company's impressive achievements but serves as an inspiration to entrepreneurs around the globe.